the check engine light's gone, baby. <laughs> hey, we're Brandon and Alyssa. We saved $30,000 so we can travel for a year. For the first part of our adventure, we've decided to move into our Prius for an epic summer road trip from San Diego to Canada. We have no itinerary, no idea how far we'll get, and no clue what we're doing. All we know is we plan to go until one of us decides, here's good. So we leave for Europe in just under a week and we have quite a bit to do until then. The first order of business is to figure out what we're doing with the car. We have two options. Option A, sell it. Option B, put it in storage and start doing Prius life again in three months when we return from Europe. Today, we just started by getting our preliminary quote from CarMax. If you've never sold a vehicle to CarMax before, We've done it a couple times and we've had quite a bit of luck and they usually give you a fair offer and they make the process super simple. You go online, you fill out this form and you tell them about the vehicle, you put in your VIN number and they shoot you back a preliminary offer. I'm almost certain that I, the car has 120,000 miles on it. I'm pretty sure that I put 12,000 because when they shot me back my offer, it was very competitive, like more than we paid for it in the beginning. So I don't know if New York is just starved for 2014 Priuses, but most likely I messed up the mileage. So they're going to adjust the quote. They will do a quick inspection, which is why we're renting a U-Haul. We're gonna move everything out of here, try and give it a quick vacuum to make the car look as good as it possibly can. And then we'll take it, we'll get that quote. And we will determine whether that quote is good enough to sell the car V or whether we want to put it in storage for about 50 to $100 a month and then move back into it when we return from Europe. So a lot to do today. Let's see how it goes. We also need to get rid of stuff for Europe. So either way, if we're keeping the RV, I mean the car V or selling it, we need to downsize because we've gathered stuff over the last hundred days. So moving into the U-Haul is an easier way to like separate what we're keeping and what we're getting rid of. Ridiculous. Like today, we're trying to get the car looked at. We've had it for two years, 160,000 miles. I've never once seen that check engine. Well, we've never once seen this much rain. I mean, you're <laughs> right. It is like literally the first time. So, who knows why? I have never seen any warning lights whatsoever on this car. I'm hoping that some reason it has something to do with the rain because I've literally never driven this car in this sort of a storm before so I'm hoping that maybe like a sensor or something just got wet and I'm going to pull over park turn the car off and back on and that will solve everything another thing I'm thinking is we did fill up yesterday and these Toyotas are super sensitive when it comes to gas caps sometimes the check engine light will come on if the gas cap wasn't tightened enough and I can't remember if I did that so we're gonna pull over put some gas in it turn it off turn it back on and tighten that gas cap and hope that it goes away. The mechanic Brandon has most likely fixed it. Let's see, let's turn it on. No check engine light. Oh, match. All right, well, let's drive a little. Let's keep on our way and then we can go to a Kragen once we get there. We Googled it. The Prius Forum of the world said that if you don't drive your car in rain often, it could be the O2 sensors, which is super easy and that it's nothing broken. But we're supposed to go get the car appraised today at 2.30. So too bad this couldn't happen like tomorrow. The dude said I could do it myself, uh, said turn the car on, insert this. I think I just found it. No, I did not. <laughs> Sounds like something. Collecting vehicle All right, said it takes a couple minutes. Okay. He 
is the so you need your O2 sensors replaced. That's what it is. All right, so he is going to email us the results of that, but it was the O2 sensor. He was like, oh, you just have to replace your O2 sensor. So I'm wondering if now we wait for it to dry out. He also said that their machines can't reset the code, mm. which I thought that they could, because if I could just reset it, it might not just kick back on and we could go about our day. So it does seem to be like that's the issue and that's not a big deal. So we'll figure it out. Proceed to Grand Street. Then what are we doing? Back. Get the out of here. <laughs> Being the responsible adults we are, we are going to say screw it and not go to CarMax for our appointment today and make our way back to New York for the weekend and hope that the O2 sensor dries out and that was the problem. Yeah, there is no... So it's crazy because we haven't experienced any rain until the last 10 days and it's been raining completely nonstop. So I definitely think that it is just a wet O2 sensor. I'm hoping, because there's no rain scheduled for the next couple days, that it just dries off and goes off on its own. If not, we'll try and find a place to reset it. And then if that doesn't work, if it kicks back on after that, we are probably just going to have to put it in storage. You're getting ahead of deal, yourself. Deal with it when we get back. It's not as stressful as it seems. It doesn't matter. As we turned on the car, I just canceled the U-Haul. Well, uncancel it. The check engine light's gone, baby! <laughs> we re-reserved the U-Haul that we just canceled. So now we're headed there to unload the Prius into the U-Haul so that we can take it to CarMax and get a proper quote. And pray that the check engine light does not come on between now, 10.45 and 2 p.m. when the appointment is. <laughs> Moving the car, getting the U-Haul out, and we are good to go. So we will be pulling over to just a random parking lot, moving the stuff from the car in there, and then I'll be headed to the appointment, see if I can't get in a little bit early at CarMax. This is the new whip. Comment if you think we should live in one of these things. A lot more room than what we have. These things are actually pretty fun to drive. We paid $19.99 for the day rental. We got it for 24 hours. We're not really gonna need it that long. And then you pay a dollar per mile and you just have to fill up the gas whenever you're done with it. But we're not gonna even be going that far. So we're only gonna have to pay like three or four extra bucks and I'm not gonna have to put any gas in it. Now we need to get everything from the Prius into the U-Haul so you can take the Prius over to CarMax to get a quote. These have not been raised since we left. <laughs> Bro, they look good as new. Oh my God, look at all the dirt. Maybe don't look at it. <laughs> you don't need to share that with anybody. <laughs> the only thing left in the Prius that shows we live here is our closet, which hopefully they don't try and look at. <laughs> We're gonna get some carpet cleaner, do a quick vacuum for our appointment at 2.30 and just hope and pray that the check engine light stays off. Prayers. You could never tell there were two people living in here for a hundred days. Crazy. We just got into the car and I think it's so funny that this is what it looks like. Like, it does not look like this three hours ago. <laughs> like, you look like a regular old Uber driver. All right, so Brandon just talked to the lady about the offer. I got free coffee and started a video because they had Wi-Fi in there. Um, the offer is basically for the amount that we owe on the car to Bank of America. So now we just have to decide if it's worth just paying off the loan or if we should store it and move back into it 
to go to Mexico or to see the rest of the USA. I don't know. Pros and cons. Pros and cons it over some halal food. <laughs> Starting walking directions to fat ass barbecue. <laughs> In 500 feet, take a right on Hempstead Turnpike. Help me with the pronunciation of that one. <laughs> I just said that we feel like we're on a TLC show. Love it or list it, baby. I think we're gonna list it. I think we're gonna list it too. We've made a decision. <laughs> well, we got some sort of a spicy Chipotle chicken sandwich. These french fries have a masala seasoning dust on them. We got a garlic naan that is fresh out of the oven. Chana masala with some fresh veggies. This is what we came for. Like a kofta roll wrapped in a house-made bread and baked around it. I love this. I love it. What was your favorite? I'm gonna go back on my word. I think that the kofta wrapped in that bread was my favorite. I thought that too, but the chana, like none I've had before. So that's gonna be my favorite. And with the garlic naan, it was insane. But we weren't even gonna get the chicken sandwich. And then we saw the chicken sandwich come to this guy's table. And we were like, we have to get one of those. All in all, with the lossy and a soda, it was 30 bucks. So, yo, come here. If you're here. ever in East Meadow, come to Fat Ass Park. <laughs> U-Haul dropped off. We're all moved back in, clearly. There's no seats in the back anymore. So leaving the CarMax yesterday, we slept at a rest stop that we slept at actually a few days ago. <laughs> We're double dipping. Oh, it was a good one. And the truck engine light came on again. It did rain quite a bit on the drive here, so it could be wet. It's dry the next four days, so hopefully it dries out and that light just turns off magically like it did last time. <laughs> We needed to go to the Apple store to get a converter for my computer and we accidentally made it to Yale. <laughs> yeah, I almost went here actually. I just des <laughs> I decided on Fresno State at the last minute. Your boy didn't have grades for Fullerton. No way he was getting <laughs> into Yale. <laughs> When you get a thousand subscribers, you can get a new laptop. So it says that Yale costs 62000 for a year. And I get it. <laughs> uh, this is the prettiest campus I've ever been to. Oh, hands down. Last Planet Fitness before you're up. So, shout out to Planet Fitness for their black card, letting us stay clean for the last 100 days. Honestly, there's no way we would have been able to do this without Planet Fitness. We got back in the car and the check engine light is off. The check engine light's gone, baby! We just need no rain from now till Wednesday. This is our third to last <laughs> night sleeping it's, in the car. It's finally cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 45 degrees right now. We are somewhere in Boston or Rhode Island. We don't know. I am interested to see how cold it gets. It's a low at 38. It's only, it's 44 right now. Yeah. But it feels cold. Yeah. <laughs> and we sell the car in three days. Three more nights. We've gotten really good at setting up. It takes us like eight minutes. We don't even have to speak to each other. Everything has a spot. Everything goes where it goes. 
It only took three months. It's going to be weird just going into a hotel room every night. Are you going to miss it? Yes, absolutely. All right, three nights to go. It is Sunday. We are two nights before leaving. We're doing our last load of laundry. And then tomorrow we're going through the back of the car to donate everything out of the car that we don't need to sleep on for one more night. Only a few more nights left in the Prius. We're at a rest stop. It's funny because I just edited a video where we talk about our first night in a rest stop and how much we hated it and we've grown to love them so much. Look how many bathrooms there are. It's gonna get down to 36 I think tonight and last night there was a frost warning and we didn't put our outside cover on so tonight we put the uh, outside cover on to keep us warmer. It was really cold last night. We did have to keep the window cracked like a little bit just so that some air can get in, but I think we cracked it too big last night. Um, so it's a little bit less tonight and yeah, time to crawl into bed. Dude, there's plenty of room in here. Good night. Good night. I guess we parked too close to the trash can. Apologies. Time has come. This is all the stuff that we are getting rid of. We just finished filming our Prius tour and we are gearing up for Europe. It's so hard. This is, so much of this is giveaway. We just got it. It's all perfectly good. We just have no one that we can give it to. Our portable generators we can't take. And I would love to live in a car again, as weird as that is to say. So it hurts to see all this stuff go and get donated. So but hard. we are somehow down to this amount of stuff that is somehow going to fit in two backpacks and go to Europe with us. All right, we have gotten rid of everything except for what we need for sleeping. We sleep on these and those and then the mattress. So all of that's gonna be donated tomorrow. We have our two bags, my laptop bag. Everything else is gone. That's so sad. We had like Fresno State sweaters and like all kinds of cool old stuff that we've had for a long time. Things are things. All right, last thing we have to do is pawn off our solar power generators. We have two of them and it's just such a pain to find people on Craigslist last minute. So we're gonna pawn it off. Hopefully we get a good deal. That was actually a pretty good experience. That's my first time pawning anything and the guy gave us a really good deal, so we took it. That's the last thing we had to do, I think. To Europe. We still have to sell the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Last night in the car, we're in New York City. It's 3 a.m. and it's like 65 degrees, so we have to keep the windows closed, but we had the windows open for like, I don't know, three hours, and there's a mosquito inside now. We have not had a mosquito in the car the whole trip, and here we are on the last night getting eaten. <laughs> Perfect. Tomorrow we sell the car and head to Europe.
Yay! Good morning. The last day we'll be driving the car. We are headed to Walgreens to pick up Brandon's medicine, which we so luckily got shipped to New York so we could bring it to England because he takes it in a month. Um, and then we are headed to CarMax to sell the car. Hmm, I'm gonna miss you, Carvey. And then tonight at 6 p.m. to London. We're at the Walgreens Community Health in Harlem right now. These guys have been completely amazing. They went out of their way to make sure that my insurance would work and that they transferred over so that they could ship my medicine to New York. They were absolutely phenomenal. And it's ice, all ready to go to London. Okay, we have nine hours until our flight leaves and we have so much to do. <laughs> Brandon just got his medicine. We were able to toss the mattress because it's trash day in New York. We're now headed to Goodwill for the last of the things we have to give away and then to CarMax to sell the car and then to the airport, which is an hour and a half away on the train from the CarMax. Woo! Thanks to everyone who watched us navigate Prius life. We are so excited to share the next chapter of the journey with you guys in Europe, eating all the food, exploring the cities. Uh, this has been an amazing, amazing journey. Uh, I would do it again in a heartbeat. And I yeah. honestly am going to miss it a little bit. Yeah, there was like definitely hard times, but overall it was the coolest 100 days. Yeah, it was We've done a sweet. lot of stuff and this was a cool yeah. 100 days. I cannot believe how comfortable I've gotten in the car. I cannot believe how well I sleep. I cannot believe the... How safe I feel. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, we've gotten really good at finding places to sleep at. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sad to see it go. See you in Europe. Don't forget to subscribe to see where we go next. Ha, ha, ha.